Welcome back to my channel Mr. Electron and today in this video I'm going to teach you how to use this part from an old photocopy machine. The motor installed at the back of this part is a brushless DC motor with a power rating of 120 watts and voltage of 24 volts DC and the best part is that it also has the driver PCB installed with it. Now in many of my previous videos I showed you how to utilize the motors from an old photocopy machine and run them at high speed high rpm with an external driver BLDC driver but in this video I am going to use the PCB installed on this very machine and I am not going to use any external driver. Well guys here as you can see the back part of this machine and it contains the PCB which looks like it's in good condition and uh, the motor is also fine you can see that it is very smooth and that's the heat sink that is placed on an IC. So now you must be thinking where to connect the wires so the wire connection part is here you can see there are four pins one two three four and it says 24 volts PG log and S backslash S but there is no ground terminal now guys the machine from which I salvaged this part was really old so to connect the wires I will first remove the oxidation layer on the terminals Now guys this what you see is a 6 amperes diode it is optional just for safety if you don't connect this then by mistake if you interchange the positive and negative terminals then there could be a short circuit which might damage your PCB so for safety I'm going to connect this diode it is optional so this side of the diode not the gray side the other side is positive so it will be connected to the red wire okay. Now let's connect the wires here. So I'm taking out uh, the red terminal from this slot, okay, and this green also from this slot. Green is going to be your negative. As for the positive, I will connect it to this 24 volt pin. So let's first place some flux on the 24 volt pin. Yeah, done. And on the diode terminal also done. Now guys the positive has been connected but there is still left this S backslash S terminal okay. Take another wire and connect it to the S backslash S terminal. Yeah done. And then fold this wire and connect it to the positive terminal of the diode. Sorry, negative terminal of the diode or positive input for this BLDC PCB. Now comes the negative terminal. So guys, take the green wire and bring it out from the same slot as the red wire. Okay, it is really tight, which is good. And here we have the green wire coming in from here and red wire. I have looped, I have given a loop so that it is stiff and does not pulse the terminal with the diode. So with that being said, let's connect this wire okay to the negative which I think it is uh, you see here it is showing one negative terminal and uh, this negative is also coming from here and this is also the negative so seems like this is the ground let's do that because there is no other uh, ground option given so I have to go for this one okay this one seems easy Yeah, done. So guys, finally here we have our fully working operational BLDC motor. Let's test it and see how fast it runs. Now guys, this is a 12 volts UPS battery. You can see that this terminal is almost gone and it's a very old, almost five years old 
12 volts 7 inch ups battery with which i'm going to try and run this 24 volts motor now guys note that i'm powering this motor piece with only 12 volts input supply now guys i've kept it held in one place with the help of this table wise let's move it like this you can see how smooth it is running and uh, the best thing is that there are no bearings okay and still it is really smooth so now it's time to uh, run it with the help of this battery so the green wire i've connected it uh, to the negative terminal of the battery and now comes the positive okay go you see it is running pretty good and it is really safe because i have connected a diode in series so if by mistake i interchange the terminals this driving board pcb is not going to get damaged cool right and i'm running it at just 12 volts dc not even 24 volts let's try and stop it here the torque is obviously going to be high yeah it is it is really strong yeah I'm, uh, it is very strong <laughs> the gear marks as you can see how strong this motor actually is once again <laughs> 